click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any classes hello students welcome to the class now we shall study the last part in the mitotic cell division that is the significance of mitosis any events that are happening in the living system they have their own significance likewise the mitotic cell division will also have its own significance and to list some of the significance of mitosis are the very first significance is to maintain to maintain genetic stability genetic stability from generation to generation that means i told initially in the mitosis that whatever the number of chromosomes present in a parental cell suppose it is a parental cell the same number of chromosomes are carried to the daughter cells also that means whatever the genetic composition present in a parental cell will be carried same the copy will be carried to both of the daughter cells generally there are two daughter cells produced upon mitosis right so the two daughter cells which are produced from the parental cell will receive the same genetic information that is present in the parental cell there is no changes in the genetic information which is carried to the daughter cells so as a result the genetic stability is maintained this is one generation and this is next generation in both of the generations the genetic composition will be same this we could refer it as genetic stability if there is a variation from here to here then it is called unstable changes so one of the major importance of the mitotic cell division is to maintain the genetic stability between the generations okay or between the cells from this cell to this cell the genetic stability is maintained which is very important to carry out the same work say for example this cell is producing the insulin the same genetic information should be carried to this cell also which means these two cells also produce should produce the insulin if there is a change in the information that work will also be changed so which is found to be very significant the next significance of mitosis is cell replacement cell replacement in our body or in any living organisms especially multicellular i am referring in multicellular organisms in multicellular organisms the cells are lost cells are lost frequently which means in each and every part say for example on our skin in our uh, gut it could be the esophagus stomach intestine the inner lining cells are exposed to the external materials regularly as a result the lining cells will be dying and regenerating regularly it is a regular process don't think we have those set of cells which are produced initially till our death no that is not a case in our body the cells are dying regularly and regularly the new cells will be formed so in multicellular organisms the cells are lost regularly frequently frequently the cells will be lost so to replace those lost cells from the old cells the new cells should be produced 
which happens by mitotic cell division. That is, to replace the lost cells in the organs. Okay, it could be skin or it could be in any other organs. If the cells are lost, those cells will be replaced again by the process of mitosis. Then, the third significance of mitosis is growth, growth and regeneration. In multicellular organisms, the increase in number of cells is considered to be the growth. Increase in cell number is considered as growth. In our body, initially when we are at the mother womb, our journey will start from a single cell, that is the zygote. That zygote will undergo a mitotic cell division repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly and finally we, the human beings are found. Same is true for all the organisms including plants. So, the growth in the organisms is a result of, especially sexually reproducing organisms, the growth is because of mitotic cell division. And in unicellular organisms, the cell division itself is considered as a process of reproduction. So here I am clearly, clearly referring to the sexually reproducing organisms. The growth is because of increase in the cell number. That increase in cell number will happen upon mitosis. Mitosis will result in increase in number of cells which in turn will result in the growth. It could be diameter or it could be length or it could be mass. And in case of plants, the growth is continuous. Growth is continuous or we could refer the growth in case of plants is happening till their death. So, this is because of the specialized cells present in them. We call them as meristems. Epical meristems, lateral meristems, many type of meristematic tissues are present in plants and those meristematic tissues will undergo mitotic cell division. Hence, these uh, meristematic tissues, since they are undergoing continuous cell division till the death of a plant, so the plants will show continuous growth till their death. And the fourth significance of the mitotic cell division is to maintain to maintain nucleocytoplasmic ratio to maintain the nucleocytoplasmic ratio which means in the interface when the cell is presenting interface, it will grow in its size. We have studied already in the initial stages of interface, especially in G1, the cell cytoplasmic content will increase. So, the cell will increase in its diameter or by the size and we measure in terms of increase in the cytoplasmic content. And also, there is a replicated genetic material present which happens in yes phase which means whatever the content, in present, content present in a cell will get doubled during the interface. So to maintain from the initial cell when we compare the normal cell and the cell which has undergone interface there is a difference. Normal content of cytoplasm and normal content of genetic material will be present in a normal cell and in the cell which is completed already the interface, the content of DNA has got doubled and the cytoplasmic content also got doubled or, and also the proteins and the cell organelles they are also get doubled. If the cell present as such then it will not be considered as normal. So, there should be some process which should maintain the nucleus 
and the cytoplasmic content ratio. So to maintain that, the cell should undergo mitosis. When the cell undergoes mitosis, the cell size and the new cyto cytoplasmic content and the nuclear content will be balanced. So to balance the nuclear content and the cytoplasmic content, the cell should undergo the process of mitosis. So these are the significance of mitosis. The very first to maintain the genetic stability, to replace the lost cells from an organism and the mitosis will result in growth and regeneration and very importantly it is helpful in maintaining the nucleocytoplasmic ratio in each and every cell. So that's all about the process of mitosis. We shall continue with the process of meiotic cell division from the next class.